Welcome back to the channel, YouTubians, Pot of Card Skill Dreams. Um, so today I'm going to attempt to uh, do this on video. I'm going to make some seat belts for my um, 67 Mustang. Uh, I'm going to be using Photo Etch um, hardware. Um, so I'll just kind of show you the stuff available that's out there. Um, so you got these racing harnesses from Protec, provides material to make it. You can paint that any color you want. Um, you've got some other stuff from Modelers. Um, this stuff is similar, has a little more detail into it, but also provides material. Then you got your model car garage stuff. Um, so these ones are GM. And then these are just uh, generic hardware. And then you also have like Detail Master, and these are just seatbelt hardware, generic stuff. Kind of, kind of like newer stuff. Um, so there's that. So today I'm going to be using, obviously not the GM. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this stuff here. So this is just the generic stuff from Model Car Garage. Um, and then I'm going to use 3 millimeter um, ribbon. Um, if you can find 2 millimeter, I think it looks a little bit better. I only have a little bit of it in red. Um, and I couldn't find any 2 millimeter. I've been looking, keeping my eye out on Amazon. Um, trying to find some two millimeter, but so first off, this is what the ribbon looks like. It's pretty shiny. So I like to knock down the sheen and put down some folk art varnish mat over the top. Um, <clears throat> also another thing I was going to mention too is, uh, you I've made my own out of embossing foil. This stuff's pliable. Uh, it's really nice to work with, but you can also make your own stuff out of that. Um, don't think I have anything right around at the moment. I might. Thought I had some pieces that I'd made. I do have them somewhere, but I'm, I can't remember where I put them. They're just uh, extra pieces. But anyways, you can make it out of um, your hardware out of embossing foil too. And that's kind of neat stuff to work with. Um, so I'm going to just get, get ready here and then I'll be right back. Okay, I just put some paper towel down just so I don't make a huge mess. Um... So if you want to make your bends, now would be the time to do that. Um, I just find it's easier to bend them before I um, put the paint on. So I'll just use a little CA glue. Right here. So I've already kind of just made my bend where I want it, figure out where I wanted it. So that should hold there.
Okay, and then while I'm that's drying, I'm just going to go ahead and throw on some uh, some of this varnish. So this will take that shine down so it doesn't look so shiny. You just want to slather this stuff on too. I do both sides just so if I end up wanting to turn it over or whatever, then I don't have to come back and hit this side. All right. Okay, so I just need to let this dry and then um, we'll come back and see, see if we can do this. So this three millimeter is going to be a little bit wider for the hardware. So I just painted these up real quick. Just put a quick wash on it. Bring out the detail a little bit. So I'll just kind of show you the size. So it's almost the right size, but just slightly too big. But I'm not worried about that too much. I'm just gluing it on and just making it look, look the part. Uh, once you get into like harnesses and all that stuff, you've really got to make sure that your uh, seatbelt material is, is thin enough to go through the holes. But for this application, I'm just doing a quick, quick, quick make it look good and um, I'm good with that. So I'll let this dry up and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's dried a little bit. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just square this end off. So the other nice thing about putting the paint on, it helps uh, helps the ribbon so it doesn't fray as much. It's kind of hard to... Okay, and then I'll... I'll angle the ends a bit so I can get them into the into the uh, into the hardware <clears throat> okay and then I'll Grab my hardware, stuff is so tiny, in the hole, grab a little CA glue. So now we can get it in there. There we go. So I may have to trim that back a little bit. Of course I messed up on it.
Okay, so I'll have to trim that little piece off right there. I don't know if you can see it. That's going to look the part. Oh, of course I stuck this to my... Glued this to, to my, my TV tweezers. That's okay, that'll... Once I get it on the seat, I'll... Uh, I'll glue it down. As you can see how far that goes through. That one turned out a little bit better. And there we go. That one looks good. So I still have to glue this part down. So I'll just go ahead and re glue this. I forgot to glue that side. Got to glue this box on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now get my seats. So I'm going to have this, so I just want to kind of rough estimate where I want to cut this, so somewhere right here, cut that, get my other seat. So right about here. Give that a snip. Some CA glue. I just glue it to the seat. So right there. Okay, that's looking good. That's down where I want it. There we go. Left side. So 
чтобы было на материал. That down. A little bit of glue there and here, just to make sure it holds good. Put it down on the seat. Okay, so there's the, there that is. Okay, now we need to uh, angle these again. Try and get these off. This part is so tiny. Okay, a little bit of CA glue there. And attempt to fold this over. That kind of made a mess. <laughs> and it didn't glue down. Try that again. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to clean up these little. So you can see what I kind of. See if I can cut that. I got one side good, looking okay. Okay, so I'm just pulling it back as far as I can. 
so that I can get it with my scissors. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, um, next one. Okay, I cut this one back a little more, <clears throat> a little more of an angle. Yeah, that looks way better. That fit on there way better than the last one. I do have a little piece sticking out. But... Yeah, I'm just going to try and trim this. Didn't work out so well. Oops. There we go. That looks good. I kind of botched this side a bit. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. Okay, that looks a little better. I'm just going to put a little varnish on there just to, oh, where did I put that brush? Just to help tighten it. Yeah, that'll look good. Oh, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Didn't turn out as clean as I wanted it.
good enough okay so where do we want this on the seat something like that okay so we want this cut right here CA glue Another little dab right on the end here. Then that down, hold it. And there we have it. Seat belts. Cool. That looks awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure where I want this approximately. Hi. Hi. Somebody's home. This one's going to end up, oh, 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 Need a little more CA glue on this one and we're done. And there we are. So now we got our seat belts on. I can finish up the interior. I'm not going to do the back seats. Um, I embossed this last night. So you can see how that's going to. So that looks really cool. I like that. All right, this video ended up being a lot longer than I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, looks really cool. Fairly simple. And I uh, appreciate you checking out the video if you have. And I uh, hope you all are doing well. Monday, welcome back to the week. That's uh, my last day off. Head back to work tomorrow and do my four days, and then I got 12 days off. All right, guys. 
Para Marlon. Thank you. Thank you very much.